Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> you are so professional. Hello? Welcome to our Ryan podcast. Can you podcast. guys hear us? Hello? And he's still going. What? Welcome to our podcast for this, the Tuesday of the 18th of December. So it's on? So it's on. Okay. And All we're right. ready. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Riot podcast. And we hope you guys really enjoy it. We do. We got lots of good stuff in here. I, uh, you know what? I, I was going through, I've been getting ready for Worst of the Riot 2018. And uh, that that's, comes up after Christmas. Yeah. After Christmas, you're going to get some Worst of podcasts because we're going to take a break, et cetera, et cetera. And um, in them, I found a break called Checkout Syndrome. Yeah. And they say that it's what you get when you're just done, but you still have work to do. Like you're close to the holidays, like we're close to Tuesday, but mm-hmm. until then we have to still do things. I got some real COS going today, I think. <laughs> You've already checked out. I'm trying not to. Like I'm trying, guys. I know, and you know what? No one has to know. Okay. No one has to we're know. We're going to bring it back up. I know that you have the, the syndrome now, and so I'm going to keep an eye out for you, okay. and right. I'm going to bring you back. Come on. Okay? Over here. Check in. Okay, I'm checking Check in. You know what? in at the gate. We're at the ticket counter. Check back in. Check back in. Come on. All right. <laughs> so hey, today in the podcast, there's a lot of ugly Christmas sweater talking. There's Nikki's bear abuse, which oh, is real. It's sorry, real. guys. Sorry. Guys, uh, stealing a violin and probably the saddest story you're going to hear all day about someone that came and took the toys away. <laughs> So learn about that by listening to the podcast. Yeah. Don't forget, you can text us anytime you want to, 877 radio You Just put us for the riot and let us know your name. Or you can email us, riot at radiou.com. All right. Everybody Enjoy good? the day. Remember, check in, everyone. We're Don't check, check we're not out. Checked out. We're checking we're in. checking in. Because you know what, Nikki? This is the only life we have. Mm-hmm. So we need to live that life to, to the, the fullest. fullest. And we need to be present in the moment. Until you're actually off. You know what? Take a deep breath and focus on your surroundings. And where you are, find something to be thankful for where you are. These are all good. Okay. Okay, this is helpful. Okay, it's the riot. Worst of the riot, not enough. Not enough. Check the blog and all things riot at riot.radiou.com. I'm afraid that I'm going to need cookies to continue. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I was given a cookie at the beginning of the show. As now your I body's both- used to it. I believe it was a down payment on performance, and this morning I've now become conditioned to needing a cookie. That's and a hard time during Christmas because you're like, well, I, I mean, I normally don't have one at at breakfast time, but I'm used to it now, and I did great with it. So where's the cookie? I would like that cookie. I mean, granted, I like I just sat the cookies next to me for about ninety minutes and then had them with coffee, and it was. I got to tell you what, cookies and coffee for breakfast. That's something. Uh, that's some next level stuff right there. That'll fuel you. Oh. <laughs> now, I haven't been to the break room, but maybe, just uh, maybe if somebody, you walk in there, something's there. You know what? Somebody put uh, a tin of popcorn in there. That'll which do. That, that will do. You know what? I got spoiled over the weekend. I went to a Christmas party. Someone had homemade caramel corn. Boy, that's pretty much ruined me for all caramel corn for the rest of my life. You mean the tin that probably features caramel corn that's been there for like two years? I... I, f- I actually felt bad when I when I had some and I was like, this is not good enough. <laughs> this is not good enough for me. Hey, how can it not be good enough? At least it's still popcorn. I mean, well, it eat is. the other sides. Don't eat that one. Look, I told you I've been spoiled and I, I basically, look, I need cookies. Homemade ones. And homemade caramel corn. Mm-hmm. And then I think I'll be ready to start the show. Well, um, I mean, we have technically, we're already in the show, so I don't know what to tell you. Well, I mean, like, this is the beginning of the show. Uh-huh. We've, this is like, if we're on a walk, we've just opened the front door. <laughs> so, yeah, we're putting our foot on the porch, but we haven't really gotten out into it be like, yet. I'm not leaving the front door until I get the homemade popcorn and the homemade cookies. I'm sorry, was that not implicit in what I was saying? <laughs> Didn't know, like, are we allowed to take the walk? Or? I mean, I didn't want to come out and be so demanding, but in reality, <laughs> what I'm saying is that in order to get me off this porch, gonna there's going to gonna have to be a cookie it. out there. Okay, well, let me look and see what's in my bag. <laughs> we'll see if there's more cookies in there. Just, you know, make, make it making happen. it known that, uh, yeah, and you know what? Like, if I was a big star on Broadway or something, it would be like, listen, he doesn't go on until he gets his cookies. You wouldn't have to say anything. It would have already been, been provided. provided in your room. We would have known better. Yeah. You know what? I feel like I was born to be pampered, but nobody's nobody's doing <laughs> no it. No one stepped up yet. <laughs> no, the only thing people are doing is throwing diapers at me, and that's not what it means. <laughs> it's it's not what it means. You're listening to the riot. 
voted number one morning show. Among toddlers aged two to five, among people with hearing problems, among dogs who bark at loud noises, among relatives of Obadiah, among people who lie in surveys. The Riot Radio U. It is The Riot on Radio U, 877-2-RADIO-U. Feel free to give a jingle or give a text <laughs> because, or a cookie. Especially if you need any details for Thursday night, we are hosting a second show that you'll have a chance to watch. So it won't be on Radio U. It'll be on our Facebook page. If you go to Radio U there or Radio U Riot, you'll be able to watch us host a, uh, a live show. Yes, that's going to be happening Thursday night, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, and it's The Riot. Ugly Christmas Sweater Party Part, part two. 2. Yes, this is our second year for doing it. I have a very hard time with the name. <laughs> you do? It just doesn't I, roll off? I can't get it. In <laughs> fact, okay, real talk, Nikki and I do, like, you know, write this up, post that, do that, and... Um, <laughs> I have to keep going back to the paper <laughs> to, to make out sure the, the well, line of it. To make sure that I'm getting all the words on in the proper order. Well, it's the ugly Christmas sweater party. That's not anything new. It's the party two. Party and two. <laughs> I feel like it's. I keep thinking ugly sweater Christmas party. So it's like they're ugly sweaters and we're having a Christmas party, not it's an ugly Christmas sweater Sweater party. party. So it's it's really the lining up of the adjectives in a very certain way, because when I think ugly Christmas, I'm like, hey, we don't say things like that about Christmas. (laughs) We don't talk like that. And so I feel not right about saying ugly Christmas, but it's ugly Christmas, ugly Christmas sweater party. Uh Uh-huh. Part part two. See? Our second party year. part two. <laughs> it's not, I mean, I think you're making it harder. No. And I think it's being no, made it, harder. It is harder. It is harder. For me. For you. Girls mature faster than guys, or so I've been told. <laughs> you're just not able to get it yet. So, like, for you, it's no big deal. But for me, it's like, man, this is a real struggle. So, on Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, at Radio U or Radio U Ride on Facebook, if you go ahead and follow and like the page and then click to get notified for our page, I'll show you when we go live for things. Mm-hmm. Um, and then please wear your ugly Christmas sweater. Cup, bring that to the party if you have one. Yes. And I... You know what? I feel like we've spent enough time. time? (laughs) Like, I'm going to come back. I'll tell you about my Christmas sweater hunt yesterday because it, things got so crazy yesterday, guys. (laughs) Not even just making that up. And then we'll have to find out, did you get one? (sighs) I'm sorry, is that a Christmas grumble? As a matter of fact, it is. The Riot. They hate me. They hate you. They hate us. Why else would they make us listen to the worst of the Riot? Radio U. I've decided to cut back on the giant stuffed teddy bears. I don't need so many. So, well, I was in your basement the other day. There's one down there. I know. I do. Actually, and he's there's just several. like shoved in a big box. He's the Costco His head's big giant just like bear. laying out, just like pay attention to me. And I was like, shut up, bear. Will someone get please, back in the box? Will someone please bring me out? <laughs> Somebody pay attention to me. After the move, I wasn't good enough. I, I don't have a place for him. I have to wait, and then the big bear can come back out again. I feel like Eric and I should shoot one of those commercials with the. Sarah McLaughlin music like you know how they show the dog outside and they're like where's your puppy he's a big boy now he stays outside in the freezing cold in the arms of the angel so it'd be me coming in (laughs) like hey Nikki where's your big bear oh he's a big bear now he stays downstairs shoved up in a box then you cut to him in the arms (laughs) of Hey, I think we're losing focus again on what we wanted to talk about. <laughs> you know what? You're right. So we'll talk about I Big Bear later. Comp- I have a lot of compassion for big bears. Do you? Yeah. I wanted to put a sheet over him, but then I felt bad. So then he can't even look around. Don't, don't you look at me with that look in your eyes. You had it coming. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. You had it coming. Uh, Besides, there are all the other stuffed bears that I don't love anymore down here. The other keep ones are in bags, so it looks even worse. <laughs> like they're What's just that? suffocated in there. After I kill him, I put him in a bag. They're there. Gonna bury him soon. It's no big deal. <laughs> okay. So we were talking about Thursday, our, our riot, ugly focus, Christmas sweater please? party number two. Can we focus, please? Yes. Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. What can they do to get ready? Well, you're going to want to get yourself an ugly Christmas sweater. And guess what they don't have anywhere? Ugly Christmas sweaters. Now, last week when we mentioned about this, the stores were flush with them still. Well, somebody flushed. <laughs> 
they're gone. They're gone? Well, not completely. First off, yesterday I went to Kohl's. Kohl's can be a good place for the a Christmas great sweaters. Great place for Christmas sweaters and novelty shirts in general. So I went to Kohl's yesterday and had to park in outer Mongolia. I was just like, what is going on? Everybody's Christmas shopping. But it's right next to this grocery store. And I was like, you know what? It'll be fine. So I go in there and I'm just like, what? It's it's a madhouse. It's all Easter stuff now. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, it's it first off, it's the people. There's people everywhere. And I heard this manager go rushing past me and say to one of the people, she's like, Well, this line is forty people deep now and it's still growing. Ooh. So we've got to get more people on registers. And I was like, Wait, what? I'm not waiting in that. Uh, I was here for a Christmas sweater. <laughs> Like, what? So did you wait in line? No. Or, yeah, you went somewhere okay. else. First off, they were almost completely out of sweaters. I did find one t-shirt that I thought might work, but the, again, it was Needs like... Needs to be a sweater. You got to be uncomfortable. Um. Okay, well, then... Or a sweatshirt, but I mean, you got to be hot. Okay, well, um, don't judge me because we're not there yet. <laughs> yet. So I ended up going from there. Yeah. I went to uh, two other stores, including a Walmart. Uh, no, actually, two Walmarts. And no... No they Christmas just go sweaters. To Target. They have like the one season stuff. He rolls his eyes and he drops his hand at me. I go to five Did stores you and you're phone? like, oh, you didn't go to the one store, the we perfect place? We talked about Target. Right. I didn't get to a Target. You're right. Okay. But I did find at a Walmart and you approved it. Oh, no, no. That was perfect. Is that now, a sweatshirt? It's not. It's a t-shirt, but I'm planning on wearing a long sleeve shirt under it. So it looks, looks like, like a, a sweatshirt. Uh, sweatshirt. Okay. It, I'm serious. Like that's where I was at. Because yet last night, I will tell you on my fifth stop. It was like, you know what? Like you're Santa. I hate Christmas, and I hate sweaters, <laughs> I hate clothes. and I hate all of you. <laughs> it was it was too much. It was, and I will say this. I learned a very valuable lesson. I will never, ever wait this long. I got to get my ugly Christmas sweater mid-November. Early. Remember all the Amazon sales we were yes, seeing? Yes. I mean, they were like $10, $12. That was I, it. Quality I should have just bought one that's what i did last year yeah and this year i kept putting it off i know not why and i was like it's no big deal i just go to the store and pick one up <laughs> they talk there you. are people still in line at kohl's right now <laughs> so you're not going to try to do the ones anymore you're, you're stuck you're going I, with look, the t-shirt i bought the t-shirt i'm gonna, gonna wear the to long do. sleeve under it and you know what if here's the thing if we hadn't mentioned it at all no one would even question it I would I just have it on and people would be like, oh, oh this is lovely. great. Very nice. I'm so glad that you're here. No, Aaron says go to thrift stores. Nope. I am officially he's done, done shopping. So he's ready for Thursday is what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Five stops was four more than I wanted to make. <laughs> so on Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, if you want to see what ugly Christmas sweaters we've gone with, mm-hmm. uh, you can watch us through Radio U and Radio U Riot on Facebook for both pages. And by the way, I was also looking for taste test items. Yeah. Nothing. I can't. Tar- we, can't. we always do before the show. And then we always find all these weird little candy things. Let me tell you something about Target. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the finger's out now. I'm He's pointing. pointing at me. I go to Target yeah. time and time again and get nothing. Nothing. True. They're like, these are a Target exclusive. So I go over there and all the clerks are like, we don't even know what language you're speaking. <laughs> We've never heard of these Oreos. So I chose not to go to Target. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, Which you know what? Which means that Nikki and I will go there at lunch today, and they'll have everything. They'll have a Christmas sweater clearance out front <laughs> and stacks of novelty food. If you want to, we can. If not, we're fine for Thursday. We've got everything we need. We're good. I'm just going back to bed. Forget it. Okay. Remember, if you can just make it through the rest of the riot, then you can probably make it through the rest of the week. <laughs> And through the next several months, and then it'll practically be Christmas. The Riot on Radio U. So we've got our ugly sweater, ugly <laughs> Christmas sweater party too. There you go. Thursday night. That is going to be on Facebook, and we're doing it 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, where you can actually watch us host a special Riot show for you online. Uh-huh. So it's not going to be on Radio U. This will be a special show there. Sometimes in life. We make choices, Nikki. Mm-hmm. And those choices have consequences. They do. Some of which you might refer to as like an unintended consequence. Like, I didn't really think that's what would happen. Whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, my. 
How did that happen? Did something happen? <laughs> something happened, but not to me. Khalif Jones, he is a teacher. He is a teacher at, uh, what's the name? Brockett Elementary School in Tucker, Georgia. Yeah. And he uh, decided he needed a little extra money. And so he stole a student's violin. To go the, sell or something? Uh-huh. Yeah. So it was, he stole it out of the lunchroom. Just at, like, I guess in the middle of the day, took it out to his car so nobody would see him. I guess I assumed, because, you know, when I was playing the flute, when I was a young Nicky, uh-huh. uh, the instruments that we were provided when we were younger were not the most expensive ones. I guess, so it's I, just, I guess I don't recall what a violin would have cost, but... I don't know if they make cheap violins. I don't know. Did anybody play the violin? Like, how much do those things run? Well, the violin that this person was learning on was worth about $750. I guess. To me, that doesn't seem worth the crime. Like, it would have to be more money than that. Well, he says he had a ticket that needed paid. We don't know what kind of $700. What kind of ticket is $700? A construction zone? Was he going 1,500 miles an hour in a construction zone? I mean, you could technically rack that up, or if he hasn't paid for a while, doesn't it just get bigger? I, you know what? I don't know. The only tickets I've had, I paid and then just complained wildly at the clerk about paying them. <laughs> but you still paid them. <laughs> yeah. So that's all I know. But yeah. So he ended up stealing it. And he's like, no, nah, I didn't do that. What are you talking about? What he didn't really realize is that there are surveillance cameras all over the school. As as is most schools. <laughs> so they were able to watch him take it out of the lunchroom, Aww. walk it down the hallway, Walk it out to his car, the put it in the thing. car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they I have mean, it all. They, they got it. So he went ahead and was like, oh, my bad. Is that me? Is that me on there? Wait, were we not supposed to take these home? I don't understand. Like, why would you even realize you're on camera? So I, I, I yeah, so he's, he's in trouble. Well, teacher's stealing. He got to, yeah, and you know, you're you're never going to be able to get your moral authority back in the classroom. But do you know how hard it is to fire a teacher? So do you think they can fire him? Or? Well, you know, it it's really hard to fire a teacher for he said, she said, but <laughs> for like, hey, criminal charges, I think that gets a little different. That one's easier? I think when you broke the law... They can get Teacher you. Teacher law? Yeah, but no, like county ban, law. Ban law? When you broke county law, they got you. Then if they, you just broke teacher law, they're like two weeks. No, uh, two with weeks pay, with pay. With pay. Just think about what you've done. <laughs> Again, it's hard to fire a teacher. Yeah, so no, but not in this case. I believe he is going to, uh, you know. I oh. would have played the violin on his way out like a sad, sad song. <laughs> Dude. No, in no, the no. background they're like uh, he's like i didn't steal the violin and he, you're rubbing your thumb yeah. and your forefinger together and he's like what's that <laughs> this is the world's tiniest violin it's playing for you and it's in your car <laughs> bring you, us to the violin you're going to jail this son. is why we can't be police officer people <laughs> this is your sad song <laughs> so the violin has been recovered it and has been recovered and will be returned to the family. The last note about this story that blows my mind. I realize I'm the only person within the sound of my voice or within a million miles that watched 30 Rock. But in, in on 30 Rock, Kenneth, the page, uh, this was an old TV show on NBC. He was from a place in Georgia called Stone Mountain, Georgia. I thought that was made up because he's supposed to be this like really backwards hick, whatever kind of guy. There's all kinds of in jokes about him. And lo and behold, Khalif Jones, who stole it, he's from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Well, the stories the it was meant to be for us to tell the story. Blew my mind. <laughs> this place is real. That feeling when you hear that every school in the state is closed but yours, now you know how we feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Nikki, I'm going to need you to get out that tiny violin. and The one I was tempted to steal? or <laughs> I need you to play it for me. Sure, what can we play it for? Yesterday around this time on this very show, sitting in this chair, I gleefully told you a story. A story of rules flouted. Doing what I want, disregarding the very guidelines by which I operate in my day-to-day world, buying toys. <laughs> he had bought a TIE fighter. A huge one. A very giant one that came out. Uh, like two and a half feet tall. But now it's on clearance, mm-hmm. and you got a really great deal with it. Yep. Because you I never got... know when you'll need a giant TIE fighter. I got an email last night. <gasps> oh, and don't I was, tell and me. And I was like, oh. 
oh, my shipping email. I'll get the tracking info. And I opened the email and it was like, dearly beloved, <laughs> we regret to inform you that we have had to cancel your TIE fighter Someone order. shot down the TIE fighter? <laughs> it's a Hulk in a Tatooine desert. Aww. So they don't, like, they oversold or something? They oversold. So now you don't have a toy anymore? They overpromised. They underdelivered. <laughs> that email is not good enough. That is not good enough. You find Stand one. Stand up for yourself. And you sell it to me at this price. They promised you. Promises were made. And so you need to not be okay with what's going on. This is how relationships are severed. This is why I can't trust anybody. People are like, no, we're friends. I'm like, sure, we're friends. I know what you said. Until you oversell something, and then I'm the one without a giant TIE fighter. I know. And so... Uh, Can you buy it somewhere else, or... Here's the thing, Nikki. The moment gone. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> you're just... So, like, the clouds go from your eyes, and you're like, wait a minute, what did I just do? And you're secretly deep down, you're really glad. Here's Here's what happened, okay? <laughs> So they canceled my order, and I was like, well, that's fine. Best Buy is selling it. Now, the difference, I was able, I had a coupon, like all this stuff, yeah. and we're going to get into some dollar amounts here. I was able to buy this ridiculously, like, two-and-a-half-foot-tall toy for, like, $45, yeah. which is still, to me, is a lot of money, but it was, like, it was a sweet spot of, like, I have some Christmas money, I have this, like, it's ridiculous, it's stupid, I'm doing it. Now I can buy it at Best Buy, but now when I get into Best Buy, I don't have a coupon and I've got to pay tax. So buying it at Best Buy takes it from $45 to about $75. Mm, they don't price match or anything? No, especially not with this place being out of stock. And so uh, you start looking at it and you're like, okay, in my mind, I had a $50 bill, which is literally what I had. And I handed it to these people and they gave me a $5 bill and a TIE fighter. And now well, I'm technically going. Technically, they didn't. They didn't, but, but they imaginary. Yeah. in the story thing, they did. And now all of a sudden, I try to imagine myself standing at Best Buy with a hundred dollar bill in my hand and this big box that's a Tie Fighter, and me handing off this one hundred dollar bill for this Tie Fighter. And there's something in me that's just like, nah. But they're giving you thirty back, so nah. it's. I mean, did you really nah. want the big Tie Fighter? That's then there it there is. There it is, deep all down. All of a sudden, you're like, hey, what else could you do with seventy five dollars? And you're like. Bro, I could buy so much stuff. This is why they say before you buy anything, like bigger purchases, which I guess this would count as, you're supposed to wait a couple of days for the moment to pass. And then before you know it, you don't have the big toy and you're fine with it. It sucks. I know, but you were excited. I know. And that's what I keep telling myself. Like, remember how excited you were? Yeah. Like, what you want to do it? It's Christmas. It's the time of miracles. <laughs> it's the time of doing stupid things. Nothing. Don't you want to be like... Open in the seventh time lock at Nakatomi Plaza. Get your big tie. And it's like, I don't think so. Why don't you take some of that money? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you said all the iTunes movies are on sale today. I know. Why don't you I, buy yourself a movie I and could, you'll like that just as much? I could buy 15 movies for the price <laughs> of that. Like, it's just one. Of those just th- one. No need to go I overboard. Know, just know. one. The more I look at it, I'm just like, dude, no, no. It's super cool. But also, No. Like if I had, if it had shipped and all that stuff for my forty five dollars, I would you would be have like, loved it. I would have loved it. But having to go back to the well and make the decision again, I can't. All right. Well, in case you were listening, yes, they're like, oh my gosh, we can't wait for Obi to get his toy in. Uh, it's not going to happen. The toy got canceled. I'll tell you what. Christmas ha- has been canceled. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Uh, oh, Andrew says, listen to yesterday's worst of the riot and relive the excitement. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's all it takes. Yeah, nope, we're done. Well, Andrew, thank you for texting. We just went ahead and the Grinch came down from the mountain. Did the company offer you like, oh, here's... Nothing! A sincere apology, like the email said. 10% off something else? No. That we won't ship to you or sell you? 10% off your hopes and dreams. <laughs> the Riots is an award-winning morning show. It's literally a medal for sucking. Now that is a medal for trying. Okay. Radio U. You may or may not be excited about Kingdom Hearts 3. It's coming is that to, what's out in January? It is. January 29th. It's got uh, it's coming to the Xbox and the PlayStation 4, and you're going to start seeing commercials for it. And it has a very loyal fan base. I played the original part of the second one and haven't touched anything that has come in between. And uh, the big hook here is that Kingdom Hearts 3 is 
Square Enix, which is like Final Fantasy stuff, uh, ma- mashed up with Disney stuff. Yeah. And I saw the, what did they call the action trailer or something last night? It's like three and a half minutes long. And I'll have to say, I'm not necessarily a big fan of either. Like the Square stuff or Disney, but really. It's tempting. But it looks great. Yeah, I think that's why people always like it. Well, Nikki, I actually bought it five years ago, four years ago. This is a really weird story, but it's true. Randomly, one day, Amazon was like, hey, pre order this for $35. And I was like, that's a good deal. Really? <laughs> sure, why not? Eventually, it'll come out. Well, I did. Well, I got to keep the $35 price tag, so it'll ship. You know, January 29th for 35 bucks for me. So I'm getting it. So wait, you, four years ago? I am not kidding when I tell you that. You pre-ordered this game? Yep. And it, this game took this long to come out? Yep. I was just, it was just this random thing that showed up in a day, like daily deal yeah. thing where they're like, hey, we don't know if it's a price mistake or what, but pre-order. And I was like, you know so what? You're when that game it. comes out, I'll bet I'll want to play yeah. it. And I can always cancel it if I don't want to. Gosh, that's so weird. I completely agree with you. Games like, take forever. They do. They do. Movies do too, sometimes. Well, I guess you're not pre-ordering it before it even comes out to theaters. Yeah, so that's, that's a the weird difference. One. This you're, is weird. It's a very good point, actually. Uh, the weird thing here is, though, is apparently hard copies of this game have leaked and they have been selling. Yeah. So there was a guy over the weekend selling copies of it for $100 a piece. And we don't like know. Like the store was? Uh, well, it was an individual. Or outside of his store, and I'm going to use what the fingers are air quotes, like as in the store of his car. Oh, yeah. Now that's very possible. So he was selling it like that. It has been, I know there are sometimes independent game shops that will sell you a they game. They just don't even care. Well, or they'll sell it cash. Yeah. So it'll be like. You can go in there, buy a game a week or two before release. You have to pay cash. And they and then they actually run the transaction when the On game... On the day of release. Yeah, so they're saving the money for then. That is definitely a thing. That's shady. Uh, well, you know, it can be. But congratulations to you, man. You, you wait five years, and look at that. It pays off. It's by far the longest pre-order I've ever had. It's there's crazy no, a lot. There's no doubt about that. But so that's Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 3. It's It has leaked six weeks early. It's out there somewhere. I'm not saying you're going to be able to find it. Normally, I don't like leaks of any sort. Like, I don't like if people just can't wait and, right. and let's play the game the right way. But, you know, four or five years later, they, they've they been patient. <laughs> so, maybe it's okay. Six weeks, you're lucky it's just that. You're not, you're not too concerned, <laughs> I see. Could have been way worse. The worst of the riot. It's like Lucky Charms, but no marshmallows. Radio U. You know, Nikki, it's funny. Earlier we were talking about your bear. Yeah. And how you keep your bear in well, the in the basement. Let's provide some context, and okay? How, let's not just throw that out there as a statement. Uh, you know, his name is Warford Willard Weatherby. <laughs> and it was four years ago today that he visited us here at Radio U. I have the Costco big bear, and I've had him for four years. He how is he? Is he seven feet tall, nine feet tall? Uh, I you know, like, Nikki, he he was shoved in a box with his head <laughs> hanging out when I saw him, so I can't be sure. He's giant, like, and you're like, oh, it's a big teddy bear. No, 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 no. Like, he's hard to find a spot in your house that big of a teddy bear. Yes. Um. So, yeah, he's in my basement currently. All right. So, I haven't found the right place for him yet. Actually, I want to finish the basement. Then he can just stay there, but it'll be nicer. But it'll be in the box in the storage part. Eric no! showed me where storage is going. He's not he coming out. He's coming out. He'll he's be not. able to come out. I don't want him to get dirtier. Yeah, okay. Staying on the floor. Mm -hmm. He's on the shelf. Just put him in a dirty... Is there anything dirtier than cardboard, Nikki? He's not in a box. He's just out there. Well, I don't think that's right. I know. I told you I wanted to cover him in a sheet. (laughs) I don't know what to do with him. I wanted to... I wanted to sell him. (laughs) I did. (laughs) In air cold. I did. I did. She wanted to sell him? You know what? He's so big. I I didn't know what to do. You know what I wish? I wish that I could introduce Nikki four Uh, years ago to Nikki right now. And somewhere he has a little hole and these little beanie things fall out. Like he's just so much to take care of. I just can't. It's it's just terrible. I just, you, I I am so disappointed in you. I know, I know. I'm so disappointed in you. I know. What? I am too in myself, but. You know, it's just, 
there's a lot. We got a lot to handle, and I got other bears, and he's just so much work. Seriously, I just wish so much, like so badly, <laughs> that I could introduce the Nikki that's in this photo. Oh, no, I know to me. With this bear. Who's willing to sell the giant Costco bear. I know, and I, I'm sad, too, but that's just how it is. Oh, Nick, our news guy, did you see what he said? Three words. Costco return policy. policy. Oh my gosh. How much did you pay for him, Nikki? I think he was $200, $300. Was a gift. I'll just tell you. It was a Christmas gift from yourself. From Eric. Which is basically. Do you have a joint checking account? No, we don't. Oh, it's my money, too. What? What am I supposed to do with the bear? Yeah, I loved him, but the time, you know, we just grew apart. What are we supposed to do? Are we talking about Eric or the bear? The bear. Okay, just making sure. Because apparently I, you fall in love with things and then throw them aside. No, I don't. I, I thought maybe oh, there'd you be a sell better them. I'm home. I'm sorry. There'd be a better home where someone could play with the giant Costco bear. They'd appreciate the giant Costco bear. And he wouldn't just be sitting in my basement. Just for the record, this makes me wanting to pay $68 for an extra large TIE fighter seem very reasonable. Yeah, but for the size that the Costco bear is, they do him, I think they do him every year. Uh, but there's always like a limited amount of the these big bears. Um, so you, know, you should go out in the parking lot and sell them. Like, hey, he, I got a, I got a gently used big bear. He is, uh, he's very affordable compared to other bears his size. So, other bears his size. Yeah, like if you. This were, is a thing. This is a thing. There are websites dedicated to, to people that bears. want big bears. Oh, but if you, I mean, he's the price of a way smaller bear at some other places. So Costco prices are just so affordable. There's a but lot you're right, of, I didn't think about returning him. There's a lot of things wrong here. I'd make Eric have to, but it'd be hard yeah, to get him there. It would never be you. I could not Eric do that. Eric would have to figure out how to get it in the thing mm. and how to get it over there and then have to make up a story about it and then see if he could get I'm his money back. I'm not going to, but he's just down there. And, you know, when you clean out stuff, we're getting close to New Year's. A lot of people go through their things. <laughs> Rachel just texted. I know it does sound like that, doesn't it, Rachel? Is this giant teddy bear going, going to, to the, the farm, farm? I know. Where I have to he tell can me run and, be and free. play. I have to tell the other bears in my house that that's what happened to this bear, mm-hmm. that he's going someplace else. Mm-hmm. I know what this sounds like, and I know it's bad, but I also know what's right for us at our time. <laughs> <laughs> this poor bear. What? <laughs> He's fine. Did you know the riot can help you see into the future? Every time Obadiah says he likes a show, impress all your friends by correctly predicting it will be canceled by the end of the year. Canceled. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not funny. Works every time. It's the riot on Radio U. Well, <laughs> I'm looking back through memories and i saw that you know it was four years ago that nikki very excitedly got her huge bear that is now languishing in a basement somewhere we talked about that we did and then i see that (laughs) yes what else is in there this time last year i asked some of you both on facebook and twitter and i was like hey i've had a book that's made a big impact on me this year I want to give it as a gift to people in my life. Should I give this book? Is it worth it? And everyone gave a resounding yes. I forgot I did this. Yeah. I took Christmas money that other people gave me as a Christmas gift and took my gift money and bought a bunch of people a book for Christmas. And then as I'm reading this, the thing that I think I probably shouldn't do is go around today and ask and ask how many people <laughs> read the book that I gave them for Christmas Maybe last year. Maybe you can share the Facebook memory and just tag us all and be like, did hey, guys. Did anybody read did this anybody? book? If not, you know, who are we to say a time limit? Like, the book's still good. It's still there. So maybe that's their Christmas reading this year. It's still there, Nikki. Mm-hmm, that's a good idea. The A gift doesn't go away, but it's probably, if I were to guess, I would say the books that I bought most people are in the basement. My it, bear. With Nikki, <laughs> right next to Nikki's bear. And they, and they just brought them over. They just left them there. And they were like, I'm going to read this. Yeah. And then it just. Well, just you could do there. that. Now, that's sometimes opening something that you don't want to open so close to the holidays. Probably don't want to go find so, out. Oh, I know you're curious, but maybe just don't. I, I think it's best that I don't because you know what? 
I could have bought myself something last year, and instead I gave the gift of this wonderful book that no one read. So really nobody got a gift. The people that got the book. So did everybody win, or does that mean no one won? I think the author won. The author won. <laughs> Amazon won. Yeah, I think, I think that's true. But I, I don't think anybody read it. And you know what? I'm. Well, Erica just texted, so what's the book, Obi? Would be happy to read it. Oh, well, Erica, just to be clear, if you think you're getting a copy. <laughs> She can find it. You're not, because I'm done <laughs> giving done copies. He's done buying stuff to people. He's I'm not going to. with that. Well, message her back and let her know what the book was. I will. I will. But uh, you know what? That's fine. I, I enjoyed it. I got a lot out of it last year. So. It's okay. I mean, I thought about it this year. Like, hey, this book was so good. I should give it to some people. And that's, this is what I thought of. I was like, do you remember when you did that? And you know nobody read it? Why do it again? So I'm not going to. The book I would give out this year is called Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. No one would read it. No one would read it? No, no. Last year's book was rooted. No one read it. So I'm just going to well, go ahead. that's called a tradition then, Obi, and maybe that's what's good. So you know, why are you tra- breaking tradition of giving books that no one's going to read? I could have given you this $10 Amazon gift card. You could have bought something you wanted with it, but instead I bought you this book you won't read. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Thank Have you. Thank holly, you. Have a jolly Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> In case you didn't hear. <laughs> you don't know how to play the Christmas game very well here. You're I supposed don't. to give this stuff and then people don't do anything with it. And then you don't ask. <laughs> That's the best holidays. So, uh, hey, just checking in. We're going to, I'm buying everybody lunch today. Bring your books <laughs> so we can all share. <laughs> Ever grab milk right out of the fridge to pour in your cereal only to realize that your stupid roommate left an empty carton in the fridge? That emptiness is nothing compared to how you're about to feel. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Let's talk about what's happening in New York City, Nikki. Yes. Google is going to be spending about a billion dollars to build a new office complex in New York. And people are either really, really mad or really, really happy. It's like you don't find people in the middle. Depends on who you're talking to. Yeah. But here's what I was looking at. So Google, New York City, they're spending this, tons of money, blah, blah, blah. They weren't given a tax break, so the city's excited because the city's going to get all kinds of money from this. It's going to start new jobs. But somebody else is mad about that. I don't know. But the but, city's paying for some a lot of things, too. Like oh, it's, are they? It's, you know, people are just unhappy. Right. Okay. But here's my thought, is if you were about to build a brand new $1 billion Radio U complex. Yeah. Not saying that you're getting to. But if. But if you were, what is the one luxury item at work that you would want? A cafeteria. Where, yeah? Yeah, I totally want a cafeteria. Okay. That seems reasonable. So, or a hair salon, a doggy daycare, and doggy a health daycare? club. A health club. Okay. Yeah, because I can bring my dog well, to work. I said one thing, and you named four. Well, just so you can pick from that. Well, which one would you pick, though? If you could have um, any of those four things, what would be the one that you would pick? Maybe a Well, cafeteria, I think they, they'd provide anyways. So you're saying company. that's not even a luxury, I'm, I'm that's just that, something they'll do. I'm making that off the table, and then I'm going to just say that that's included. Okay. But maybe I'd say a health club. That'd okay. be fun. I, that's actually what I would go for. Yeah. A place where I could exercise and shower at the building. Because even if you're not oh working out, gosh, still having the showers so awesome. would be nice. Yeah, that would be, I think that would be my number one choice. Maybe let's call it a spa, and then it could have the health club in it, but then that also counts like a nail salon and a hair <laughs> salon place so i feel like that's a stretch no no that's all in one it's uh, a spa so you're saying like i'll a go wor- i'll go work out take my shower yes. and then i'll get my hair done on yes. my way back to that's my final answer okay all right what well, i feel like for me it's either going to be a gym or it's a toss-up between that and a freestyle machine and you're like but that's in the cafeteria no nope. I don't think it is. I think you have to make that choice. That should be on floors. To get there. Each floor, like the ice machine at a hotel. You know, you don't have a lot of staff, so I figure one will probably. One floor will do. Yeah. Are they putting something in? Are they not? And people are mad or? No, no, no. I just saw them saying $1 billion for this building, and I thought, man, you know there's going to be something really nice in there. It's well been documented. It's nice to work at a Google place because of what they offer, but you're still working, and it's it's hard work. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, it's... (laughs) It's hard work. I'm not saying it's not work. It is. It must be hard work. 
But I want a, a location where everything's there. Like I can bring my dog to work, drop him off at doggy daycare, get my nails done if I wanted to, work when I feel like it because that's that attitude that they have there. See, the only thing that bothers me about that is that feels a little too much like the company store. Yes, it like, does. <laughs> Everything's you know, there. Where, like, back in the day, the miners would do the mines, and then, like, the company owned the town uh-huh. that you lived in, and they like, owned everything. They and it's owned like, the doctor. They owned the dentist. Like, everything. That It feels like that. So, that makes me nervous. It was convenient. Well, I'm sure it was convenient I, I for the miners, I could be nervous too. if it was convenient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's all really good till they turn the screws on you. <laughs> that, that is true. And then but, they close the spa. <laughs> And I have no place to go. Like, no, 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 Nikki, we can still do this treatment for you. It's just that the price has gone up. <laughs> now I have to pay. Now just borrow against your next paycheck to get the treatment you need. They don't know if you've, they've been taken out of your paycheck this entire time. The riots. Apparently some of the less athletic types go nuts for this stuff. Radio U. All right, Nikki. Do you know... Who Alfonso Ribeiro is. Yes, I do. Who is he? He's the guy from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He's Carlton. Yes, because I saw this article. You did. I did. What is he really well known for? Uh, It's this dance called the Carlton. The Carlton. The Carlton, which I think he created. He said he created for the show. Uh But more people nowadays might know this dance if you play Fortnite. Mm -hmm. And they're not being like, oh, it's the Carlton all rights and uh, all this going to him, but he's the guy who created it. He actually you swing has your a tr- arms like left to right and that's the only way I can describe it. I mean, it. you know what <laughs> the Carlton looks like. Even if you don't know it's called that, you, probably you seen know it. what the Carlton looks like and you have seen at least a meme. Yeah. If not this dance inside Fortnite or, you know, other games. Apparently it also shows up in 2K18 and Honestly, I think it's in Forza Horizon 4. Forza's loaded with emotes, and I'm all but certain the Carlton is in there by name. I think they call it that. Then again, they might have paid for it. They could have. uh, For them to call it out like that. Uh, Because there's also 2 Millie, who is suing uh, Epic Games for the Millie Rock, which is a dance of his, uh, that also showed up in 2K18. Basically, uh, a lot of dances and a lot of things that you're seeing in their games, most importantly Fortnite, uh, people are suing them for. (laughs) So they just seem to have taken liberty and put that all in there. It basically comes down to, as Nikki is saying, uh, everybody wants to get theirs. So when you sit down and you're like, man, why is this so expensive? Why does this thing cost so much money? Because everything in that, everybody gets a little bit. Yeah. Like they, they divide that up. And so the actor, Alfonso Ribeiro, the Carlton, uh, he's suing to get his because he's like, hey, this is a trademarked item. You've put it in your game. If you're going to put it in your game, you're going to have to pay me for it. And He's I am, suing for a lot of money. He really is. Though I kind of imagine that Epic will probably be like, that's not a problem. We'll just take it out. Uh, or do no, you think they'll pay him? No, I think they would settle oh, on okay. an amount. So, so don't go to start court. start high. <laughs> it's true. You end in the middle somewhere and you're happy. You totally but do. Th- he's not the only one, like we said, that are suing for people's property or you know their dances in Fortnite. okay backpack kid is suing well he is not suing he is in the early stages he has just filed complaints Mm -hmm. because he says he's the guy that originated the floss yeah um so he performed it with Katy perry uh let's see on an episode of saturday night live and that video in which he does it 53 million views and he says hey that that's mine you took that now, we're in it now, huh? Now, <laughs> then suddenly they're like, why is Fortnite not free anymore? Yeah, Fortnite was <laughs> free, free for the, like, the longest time. Well, again, they've gotten in trouble for other things. So. Uh, I mean, I it is hard to know, though, because everything, I mean, think about how many memes feature somebody flossing or mm. doing the Carlton or whatever. And people use those and, like, nobody's getting paid. It just well, kind of is out there. they money off of it, whereas Fortnite has made more than money. I know, just but beyond. I guess what I'm saying is that, like, we're in a culture where... Where to us, I think to the end user, we're like, nobody owns anything. The world is free. Who can own the sky? Who can own the Who dance? Who can own the water? But they have they have trademarked some of those. Carlton's like, who can own the Carlton? Did you say I how can. much he was suing for? Uh, was no, it, I don't think I actually know. Was it in the know. billions or what was it? 
I'll have to look it up. I do not have a dollar amount for what he is suing for. So, I mean, I'm sure that information's out there, but I don't have it. So hmm. I guess we'll keep updated. Let me put it to you this way. It's going to be at least seven <laughs> figures. It'll be a lot. <laughs> because Epic is printing money with Fortnite, and other people are like, while you're printing money, I'll take a load of that. The worst of the riot box set is now available nowhere because we know you wouldn't want it anyway. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Cats, cats, cats. cats. We've literally been saying that. Like, cats. don't forget to talk about cats. the cats. It is the riot, and we're going to now remember to talk about the cats. Okay, do you know where your cat is right now? What's your cat doing? Is your cat in Nova Scotia? Hmm? Is it Nova Scotia, kitty? Uh, That's a bit Wisconsin, I think, sounding, but. They're the same. Is it? No, they don't now like look, to hear that. That's just between No you one and likes me. to hear that. Don't tell anybody I said that. Okay. So we have a problem here. Uh, Baloo, the cat, and that's B A L O O. Sure. Not blue. But a b- Baloo. Baloo. Yeah. Baloo. Uh, you'll have to see a previ- previous game? joke from Nintendo DS. Um, Baloo is owned by one Jacqueline Lake, who actually, uh, they work with a company called Purolator. They do tires and uh, rims. Like rims. Yeah. And so she was packing up this shipment to send off to somebody, and the cat was like, what's in here? I'm going in the box because a lot of cats love boxes. So the cat climbed inside the box and inside one of the tires, and so then the cat got packed up and shipped. How, was there an air hole? Like, tires normally don't get air holes. Well, I mean... More than likely, it would be uncomfortable, but if I put you in a cardboard box... You'd probably survive. You'd probably be okay. Especially like you for, could, if you're a cat. You could get some air through there, right? So um, so how long did the cat be in the box? Like, where did it get shipped to? Uh, let's see. It looks like the cat was in the box for a, basically about a day. So it was like a 17-hour trip, about 700 miles. Went from Nova Scotia to Montreal. And then one of the... To empl- a new home! <laughs> One of the employees was doing an inspection and was like, there's something leaking out of this box. It's urine! Oh, the cat oh gosh! Hey, let's not shame the cat, because you'd pee if you were in the box for that long, too. Would you? Well, I'd try to hold it, but... No, I was going to say, Nikki, I thought you don't use the bathroom. Well, they would notice a human in the box, I think, a lot faster okay. than the cat. All right. Okay, all right. So don't shame the cat. So, yeah, so they went ahead, they found the cat, they took the cat to a local shelter to make sure that it was okay, and then they contacted... Uh, the tire the, place? Well, they were able to figure out, yeah, like they pulled the tracking number on the box, found out what was going on, I was like, hey, we have your cat. And this last part is the part that really gets me, okay? And that's this. There is a volunteer nonprofit called Freedom Drivers in to, Canada. To drive the cats? <laughs> they transport shelter pets. Yeah. And at no cost agreed to drive the cat 17 hours yeah. back to Nova Scotia. Listen, you're not watching enough Facebook and YouTube cute animal videos because that's very common. They'll take animals from different states. Like, they'll drive them from, like, Texas to New York. Volunteers will do that because if they have a possible person who will adopt the animal, they will literally drive the animal to a different state. I have no heart. So, Well, you're just not. I have no heart. You have allergies. That's what you have. And so you can't expect him to have more than that. Yeah. Because his allergies are very bad. <laughs> Looking at this, I'm like, I'm not saying we put him down, all right? But I'm saying that like, we either... Oh, you, you got in the box accidentally. Like, Whoops. what do you think? You Whoops. have to take it back. The owner comes and gets the cat. Well, if you want your cat back, you got- come down here and get it. Not, we have a nonprofit that just, we just got somebody that's just ready to drive well, your someone, cat back to you. If someone's you- maybe retired and has a free time and they like animals and if, they want to drive the cat. If you ran away from home and you were desperate and you were like, I made a huge mistake, I need to go home, they'd be like, well, we'll get you a job for two weeks and you can save up for bus fare and maybe you can go home. Oh, yeah, if you were a cat, sure, we'd just give you a ride. No big deal. But, you know, what with you being a person and all? Nobody cares. You're not sure it's like that. It doesn't mean it is. You're right. I can't promise it's like that, but I've got a real strong indication. (laughs) Probably would be. I know, I know. You hate the riot. Why are they on the radio? Stupid. Yeah. Honestly, we can't trust them with anything else. It's the riot on Radio U. You know, we were just talking about a cat that received way more consideration in its travels than you ever will. Actually, that's true. But 
<laughs> it had leg room, and we never get that. But see, a lot of times how people are willing to treat pets depends a lot more to do with what kind of pet that you have. So, for example, this cat was driven all the way across Canada, basically. So congratulations, cat, for your free ride. But... If you take a look at this fish, Nikki, this fish is not getting the same kind of consideration. What happened to it? Well, I would like you to join me in Colorado Springs at the Colorado Springs Airport, which I've been there. Yeah. I went to a convention in Colorado Springs, almost got stranded in Garden of the Gods. That was a real, that was a genuine adventure. You got um, what you wanted. Yes, I really did. Uh, so she was, uh, she's a student at a university there. Which one is it? University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Oh, and she was flying home with uh, Cassie. Cassie is a beta fish. And she decided that living in a dorm room, there's only so many options that you can have. Yeah, I don't think you can have pets, but like beta fish. She was allowed to have a fish. I think so. Those count. She was traveling with Cassie, and apparently Cassie has been allowed to fly lots of times. Uh-huh. In fact, the TSA will allow you to fly with fish in a checked bag as long as they've had a chance to inspect it. So how does that work? They just put them in the fish bag with the, the water and stuff? I have no idea. Like, wouldn't that just eventually pop? Or See, I mean, this is again. I've never had our luggage treated respectfully, so. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Uh, it wouldn't pop. I mean, depending on how you had it sealed up, I mean, you know, it would probably contract a little yeah, bit. But isn't that like, a, a bumpy ride? <laughs> Just don't know. I don't know either. But she got to the Southwest ticket counter, and even though she had made it through the TSA, Southwest was like, yeah, no. So she wanted in her bag that went on the plane then, not under. Right. Okay. Uh, so and so, seat. you know what? Wait a minute. Did I say checked? I think she's allowed, they're, they allow it in carry on bags, gotcha. not checked bags. I apologize. That so makes, that's that a makes little, a bigger, little that's a bigger less difference. jostling then, I yeah. guess. Um, and so Southwest was like, nah, nah. We're not putting the fish on. Nah. And see, they have a policy, and I actually knew this. They'll allow cats. And they'll allow dogs. Yeah, but they See? won't. Well, they'll, they'll fly your cat all no, the way across Canada. No, no, no. There, there's, there's some things though. Okay, you have to pay if you want to bring your cat on. You have to pay right. if you want to bring your dog on. But what if it's an emotional support cat? If it's an emotional support animal, emotional support they beta. had to say we're only allowing. Cats and dogs, because everybody's trying to bring their peacocks on and all that uh-huh. stuff. Or so they're trying to abuse the system. Now, is she saying that was an emotional support fish or just she's bringing her fish? I don't know the answer to that. It's that not makes stated a here, but it feels like it probably was. See, I, I think, think just, she's just taking her fish. I'll tell you this. Well, I mean, who are you to say that? that <laughs> don't know. You're I just all, want to know. Is she bringing the fish home? You're getting all judgy, Nikki. No, like, no you're one's getting there. All I'm judgy, not judgy. Nikki. I'm not judgy. I've Someone just never needs had emotional fish. support, and the first thing you do is lash out at them <laughs> for needing support. <laughs> That's what Southwest was doing. Well, Southwest said no to the fish. But no and way. And she was like, oh, my gosh. So she gave it to the person behind her who was like, well, I can't take it on the flight. What do we got to do? She doesn't wear fishes now. Aww, it's gone. Southwest, Cassie's gone. Southwest said, hey, we told you that you could book another time. Not to be rude, but I can guess where the fish is. You think... <laughs> Do you think the I fish, bet you someone went and flushed you it. You think the fish sleeps with the fishes? I bet you it's it's in the plumbing of the airport now. Ridiculous. Or someone took it home, maybe you know for their family. I think Cassie has found a new home and is living a fabulous life At the in Colorado aquarium Springs. in the sky. This was the worst of the riots. And we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. <laughs> The Riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. In the arms of the angel.